Hello, I'm Dr. Hartman from Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics. Um, today, we're going to discuss about uh, hand, foot, and mouth disease. And these, this advice is meant for patients and parents of Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics and not intended for the use of other people who are not of Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics. And you should seek the advice from your pediatrician uh, if you have questions. Now, what is hand, foot, and mouth disease? There are several terms that are used. Sometimes you'll hear the doctor say Coxsackie virus, which is the virus, herpangina, H-E-R-P-A-N-G-I-A-N, or hand, foot, and mouth disease. Now, why is it called hand, foot, and mouth? Because mostly in young children, kids under four, it is a rash that's on the hands, on the feet, and in the mouth. Usually, the presentation is children with high fevers, if they're young enough that they don't speak, they drool a lot. In other words, because they have what's called ulcers in the back of their throat. Not in the front of their mouth, but in the back of their throat. And they start to drool a lot because it hurts to swallow. Then what eventually happens are red, raised, almost tiny blistery lesions can develop on the hands and the feet and occasionally on the buttocks and the legs and sometimes can be misdiagnosed as chicken pox. The key here too, however, is oftentimes there are high fevers with it. And definitions of high fever for us is 104 and a half or higher. It can start at around 102 and go up to 105 and last for up to five full days. That's 120 hours of fever. People get scared their kids could have a seizure. They're no more likely to have a seizure than any other child with, with, with uh, hand, foot, and mouth disease, unless they've had febrile seizures before, uh, before this. Oftentimes, the kids are pretty miserable, and the key is Motrin or Tylenol, usually Motrin, will bring the fever down somewhat maybe from 104 to 102, but it won't bring it down all the way. And as long as the children can drink well, it's just going to take some time to go away. People talk about concoctions of Benadryl and Maalox, and while they may help a little bit, half and half, and you have to call us for the dosage on that according to your child's age, it helps a little bit, but really the Motrin and cold things are probably the best thing for your child and unfortunately they're going to be miserable for a few days with this. Older children oftentimes just get the ulcers in the throat and get nothing in their hands and feet. Now adults occasionally can get flu-like symptoms with this and this virus happens sometimes in the summer and sometimes in the fall but oftentimes in in the early spring as well, late spring excuse me, and the problem is with, it can give you headaches and body aches and fever. And if you live in areas like Medfield, Westwood, Dover, Norfolk, parts of Mansfield, um, um, Uke, Easton, Norton, you could mistake it for Lyme disease. But that's something you should have your doctor help you decide not yourself. And there is a rare case of something called Bornholm syndrome, which is a very crushing chest pain and adults sometimes feel like they're having a heart attack when in fact they don't have a cough, they just have very sharp chest pain. It is called Bornholm syndrome because the virus for some reason settles in in the lining around the chest and causes that. Um, it's not dangerous, but obviously if you have chest pain you should talk to your own doctor. It is extremely rare for this Coxsackie virus to do much more than what I've told you already. There are very rare incidences, which we have not yet ever seen at Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics, of inflammation of the heart or inflammation of the brain. And those are manifested by kids that look very, very sick. And parents will know their guts, you can tr your guts you can trust will tell you when your child is that, that ill. Again, pushing the fluids is the most important thing. Eating will not be great for up to five to seven days. And in fact, some kids who have the sore throats that are older and able to complain can complain up to 10 days about having a sore throat as well. And in the beginning phase, it can very, be very difficult to distinguish this from strep. But when it's around at school, it's more likely 
um, uh, that you're going to see, or in a daycare probably more likely, you're going to see, um, you know, notices going around that this is more likely to be, you know, the hand, foot, and mouth virus. So basically, that's all I have to say today, and thank you, and remember, Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics, proactive in your child's care, empowering families for over 50 years. Have a good day.